Help me paint a picture for people either watching or listening of how bad it can get. For how deep and dark can the environment that you are working in get? Like, what's the worst that you've seen? Man. It was Thailand, 2016. Mm, I was working with another nonprofit at the time, and the team leader was there, and I was just starting out with this undercover shit. And I was like, all right, he's like, I have my girlfriend's in town, so he's like, I'm gonna go spend time with her. But I was like, I'm in fucking Thailand, I'm away from my fucking kids, I'm like, I'm gonna work. And I went out by myself, uh, and I started looking at him as like those little peddling trafficking kids, uh, like a uh, little, little the begging kids for it. And I was like, just a little young girl working that. And then I was like, you know, I'm just gonna fucking act like I'm drunk. And I like, went 7 Eleven, and it's like 2 a.m. I was like, fucking, stumbling around, sure shit, taxi pulls up. He's like, yeah, I'll take you somewhere. And like, kind of long story short, he takes me to one place, and nah, I'm not young enough. It's not, you're not like going in, like, ah, I wanna rape a kid. You know what I mean? Like, you have to, you know, work it. And I was like, finally, he's like at 3 a.m. It'd be a little on the nose. Exactly. Yeah. So, and like, they get the fucking point. Um, and then he takes me like 10 minutes outside Bangkok, then it's 20 minutes outside Bangkok. And then all of a sudden, like, he takes me to this place. And it's like a fucking steakhouse. I'm like, the fuck is this? And like, there's the little lights on, and it's like, I don't know if he's fucking try it or something. Comes fucking walking out. And he's a pretty big dude, and, uh, and he's fully tatted up. He's in black pants, black jeans, black boots. And I'm like, okay, I'm just kind of getting serious, you know? Like, it takes me inside, and like, in the the corner is like these three ladies in like these nice outfits, and they're like counting money under the table. It's like something out of a fucking movie. And then like a Papa San comes down, like versus like a Mama San, like a guy's running it. So he takes me upstairs and there's some young girls, but they're Asians. Like, it, like, he's, like it's tough. Cause I'm like, I don't know, like 12 to 15 I'm seeing. And I see a young girl with braces and I was like, yeah, I'll take that one. And they're like, all right, we'll take you back to your hotel room. I was like, no, like, do you have anywhere I can go? And they're like, oh yeah, we have a place for you. And so then they takes me to get escorted by the dude and the girl. And they take me to like this fucking carport and he's these big metal doors and this door opens up and it's a fucking sex room. Like four, and then they threw some condoms in and shut the door. And I'm like, oh shit, like, this just escalated quickly. And, uh, and I'm just collecting intel. So I started talking to her and we're using my phone. You don't know if you're being monitored or like that, so we're just laying in bed, and, like sitting there and we're texting back and forth. And she's like, yeah, they kidnapped me from fucking Cambodia. You know, like they fucking, she showed me her tattoo, kind of told her story just back to translation. I was like, like, I'll be there tomorrow. Like, I will come back. She's like, no, you won't. Like, everyone says that, and like, nobody does. And I'm like, no, I will be here, I promise. I give my word. And then, uh, pass the information, and then nothing was done. And so, like, rescuing kids, the ones you leave behind are the fucking hardest ones. You know? That's the ones that fucking, that really fuck you up. How many situations, like the one that you just described, do you think are happening every single day? Of the girls being trafficked and kidnapped mm -hmm. and like just wait. even like just that the sex dungeon like i'm, a, I'm, it, exi I'm it exists out there you know and usually what those places are, are local spots you know it's usually like the local fucking spots and there's uh it's the people in that country that are doing it and um but like the thai the royal thai police are fucking phenomenal like they care they do a great fucking job you know, this, that wasn't their fault. This was the nonprofit's fault I was working with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't fucking pass the information like they were supposed to. And so, yeah, the, those, they, they exist. They're out there, man. There's kids in cages. When I was in Bangladesh doing that, like, those girls were being held in cages. You know, like, it's fucking, it's, it's out there. It exists. Have you ever heard of anything like that here in the U.S.? You hear about it, you know, but, like, from the trafficking I've worked in the U.S., like, with law enforcement, it's more just right in your face. Like it's, you know, like they get these girls hooked on drugs. You know, then they put them out there, they do it, then they take all their money from them. And so, yeah, it's, it exists. But I just, you know, the cages side and things like that, it's when you, in the US, like, yeah, like it does exist, but I just don't know, you know, yeah. fully. Like law enforcement do a great job with those like severe things. Like they, they do a great job at that. Um, of working it, but when you go into third world countries, like they're just overloaded. 